Alright everyone, welcome to a Jurassic World Alive video, but of a different sort. What is one thing most of the Jurassic World Alive YouTubers who have a hard cash link have in common that I have not yet done? That is right. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Prepare yourself. Oh, Pro C reveal. No way. Oh my god. It's finally happened. Pro C reveal. Do you like my Jurassic World cap? My shirt. Yeah, and we've got Pro here. Big Pro Ceratosaur. Oh, the Ceratosaur. We've got a bunch of things actually. My Lego clip. And the four hundred dollar set right up the top. That's me, Prosy. Anyway, today, most of you are wondering. I think some of you have asked me, Prosy, where's the hard cash link? Well, what happened was, I haven't been able to get in con. Actually, I have been, but. Before I sent my email, I have not been able to get in contact with Lydia. Instead, I was doing it through my friend, who is Amber Club, like platinum, top, top of the top, above Apex. Oh, it's platinum tier, I think. Spent a lot of money, a lot, more than I've spent on emotes, I'd assume. I know. Anyway, they asked, uh, how would it be possible for Proce to get a hard cash link? And I think, I believe what he said they responded with was, three is the maximum. So you've got Gaming Beaver, Game Press, and Pokey Border. And yeah, that's fair. That's 150 bucks each week from those three creators, or group of creators. So, I was like, having the casual day and all, till I get messaged by... Actually, they didn't want me saying their name. You told me. That's, that's fine. It do doesn't really matter. I would have figured out anyway. That, uh, there was a fourth, a fourth hard cash link. I'd been lied to. Had I? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, three wasn't the maximum. There's now four. Gaming Beaver, Game Press, Pokey Porter, and now Gaming Owls. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. I don't have a hard cash link. And you know, good on her, because, I mean, I haven't seen too many uploads from her. I've seen it couple of videos and what but my sub count is like 50 60 of her I'm like surely if that's possible then surely I can get a high cash link so I asked my friend who has platinum club if I could get in contact with Lydia and they sent me an email and I was very happy so I contacted that person I don't think um I think it's best I don't say any names at this point. They probably would rather not. Um, and they passed it on to the content creator team. I'm like, they're like, wish me best of luck. And I'm like, yes. And today, I've finally got my response. You know, I was like, it was taking a little bit of time. It took a week, I think. I don't blame them though, because um, if it was like a normal customer service, you know, where it takes five days or something to get back, I don't know, um, then, you know, I thought maybe I'm a bit of a more special customer, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course, I'm one with every, fix the camera angle, yeah, that's better, you can see the sloth too, sloth, yeah, level one sloster, um, anyway, uh, 
I would have expected. Because the contact I got responded like a day after, so it was really, really good. Um, and, you know, I got the email today um, about the content creator program. And they messaged me. And, yeah, they did say in their thing, they actually took their time to like watch a couple of my pits. So, you know, I've been noticed by Ludia. That's a good start, everyone. Um, so, they said thank you for reaching out to the team. They think it's fantastic I am creating just good alive content and sharing my voice with the community. And they wanted to tell me there are many factors about um, why people receive things like cash links and all that. And yeah, that's fair. You know, Gaming Elves probably has a much closer relationship with Ludia than me. So like, I, this is like my first contact. So with them, um, <laughs> obviously, so there needs to be a bit of trust built up, so I'm gonna email them after this, gonna, yeah, I'm not sure what to say, I'll think of it, I will, um, so, they obviously want to protect the privacy of JWA content creators, so they're not gonna tell me why specific ones, or why so, because there's multiple people on the content creator team, just not all of them have hard cash links. I wonder if I could get on the content. I, I bet I could. One day we'll have a hard cash link. I promise I won't stop. I'll work my butt off for you guys for there to be a fifth hard cash link from me, Pro C. Yeah. Um, so, basically, what you need to do. To be accepted basically um, so what they want is like a long-term bond together you know back and forth communication they want to get the trust level from me I'm not just like gonna show up to their office one day and say add Ceratosaurus to the game right now or you're in big trouble we're going to wait patiently for Ceratosaurus, and we're going to get Ceratosaurus eventually. Even if it's not next update. We're speaking of next update, I have something to show you which Ludo actually sent me. Like, yeah, we can uh, give you some content out of this. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> anyway, general tone of my content. Is it constructive? Helpful? Does it add value to the community? Well, before me, low levels were not getting Apex DNA, were they? No. Now people can use Haste Gen 2, Inosterium, and Kylosaurus Gen 2 level 1 in the Ceremonus if you want to. Level 1 Sloth. Uh, level 1 Lithronex doesn't work in Hydrosox anymore. But it was fun to pull through uh, Lithronex in that raid because people were asking me, do Lithronex? Because Ludiel loves the Lithronex as well. They've got like three creature designs of it, you know? When you search up the creature, and it comes, that's what Ludia sent me to, and it's got some 2.6 creatures, so they said I can share it, but I'm not sure if they've accidentally added that in, but I'm going to share it anyway, because you might want to see it. Um, posting frequency of JWA relay content, well, I post pretty frequently, obviously I've got, I'm a bit of a busy man, I've got a life. Uh, no, I play JWA all day long. That's what I do, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I try to post daily, obviously. They said, you don't have to post daily, like, that's just like, as long as you're doing it consistently. And I am. I, I say I am. I've done however many videos this week. Def not daily, but like, at least every two days or so. I missed a video yesterday. That's because I have cold, sore, my throat's a bit sore. It was really bad the other day, I could hardly talk. So I'm gonna go over that video and talk again. And I'll give you a hint to what the video is. It is a raid, it, it's a themed raid. A more, mm, Mortem Rex raid, yeah, I'll say it's Mortem Rex raid. Uh, here's your hint. 
Uh, the raid was completely out of the blue, but it was a very schmexy rexy raid. There's your hint. Um, you need to make sure you do not promote, associate, or participate in any form of cheating, spoofing, or hacking in JWA. Obviously, we do not promote that here. And if you're doing it, stop. I've told multiple people, mate. This couple people come up to me actually and said, "Proceed! I found a great way to collect DNA." I'm like, "Oh yeah, what is it?" And like, "Oh, you use this external app to change your look." And I'm like, "Stop right there! Delete it. Hand in your account. Reset. That's not on. No spoofing, please. No hacking at all." Um. Obviously, now that I'm in contact with Lydia, people are questioning the validity of whether Gorgo Trebax is real or not, whether Lydia handed it in. So I'll be asking them. That's why I'll probably put in the next email if it's legit. And I can confirm to you guys that the Gorgo Trebax wasn't hacked in from Minmi's account. So, yeah, I uh, do not purposely um, promote any of that bad stuff, I tell you, don't do it, yeah, I'll make sure you don't do it, definitely, no, anyway, the quality of the content and the type of content, video quality, graphics, commentary, oh, well, we all love proceed commentary, we know that's in the video, it wasn't always in the videos, but, uh, Ever since we unlocked more Rex, there was commentary in the videos, and you guys loved it, didn't you? Yeah, I got some nice comments. Hopefully I get some nice comments about my partial face reveal, too. <laughs> um, video quality, it can be a, a bit bad sometimes. That's like when I'm really desperate, you know? I have to go outside, I'm on mobile dark, I'm, I have to upload it, and I'm like, this has taken like five hours! The raid came out like however many hours ago, and oh, it's sad when you don't upload immediately, uh, and other people beat you to it. But when you when you get there first, oh, it's a very good, very you get the views too, which is what we need if we want this hard cash link. I'm not doing this to be selfish. No, we're all in this together, right? You benefit me, give me subscribers and views. I benefit you, you get a 50 buck hard cash link. Uh, consistent growth in fan base. In most cases, the bigger, the better, of course. So, like, let's be honest. Um, 1000.6, 1.6k, 1.62k, I, I believe, is what we're at. Um, look, it's not as big as people like Gaming Beaver, Poogie Fodder, and Game Press. But it's still up there, like, not everyone has 1.6k subs. And keep in mind, I did this within less than a year. In fact, I'm going to search up right now when my first video was, because I know it was less than a year, slightly less. It might Actually, it might have been a year ago, but mm, I need to check what my oldest video, when it was published... So, um, yeah, has it taken me a, it's taken, my first video was posted nine months ago, so three quarters of a year, it's taken me to get 1,620 subscribers. That's some pretty fast fan base growing. But if we can keep, we just gotta keep going, we can't stop, we gotta keep going. And... That's why I try to play other games too, because it brings in other people. It's not the fact I don't want to play Jurassic World Live anymore, because I love it. That's the main reason for this channel. But I try to get other people from other places, and then we get more people in the Jurassic World Alive community. Like the um that E750 video I did, I made sure to publish that as soon as possible, and it got 14,000 views. I bet most of them weren't normal Jurassic World Live fans. They were probably, like, you know, just average Jurassic World viewer. And, like, and I made sure to promote Jurassic World Alive in that video as much as possible. Uh, every creature I showed off was from Jurassic World 
alive in that video. So, of course, with that being said, um, the person who responded to me from the content creator program said they had a chance to look at my channel and watch some of my content. Very good, I've been noticed. Your content is posted frequently and consistently. Keep it up. Yeah. You have great community interaction. On your last seven Just Grow Live related videos, I saw an average of 40 plus comments on each video. You heard it guys. Comment. Like. Subscribe. Share. Comment. It's going to get me that 50 hard cash link for you guys. 250 bucks a week sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, I'd like 250 bucks a week just by clicking some links. Actually, in a day, you can get that in a day, can't you? Alright, you include commentary in most, if not all, your JWA content. Especially with, like, ever since I unlocked Mortem, there's basically been commentary in every video. So I've been doing good at that. And now we've got the partial face reveal, which is hopefully going to increase our chances which is why i'm doing it obviously because i'm doing this for you guys of course I'd, i prefer not to share this i'd like to keep it safe hopefully you guys can understand why it's a partial face reveal um anyway what they would love to see moving forward continue creating commentary content that can really add value to the community Enter the game. Constructive feedback and good tips are for the community. Guys, good tip, number one tip right here. Gemini Titan, Turamonic, Triastronics can be used in all the Apex raids. There's a good tip for you. So yeah, work especially on Gemini, because it's meta. It's top it's in the tyrant here. And Triastronics is pretty good itself. Terramolic, it's a heal. It's if you've leveled it up, you've leveled it up. Thank I thank you very much because I'm not getting my past level 21. I'll rely on the people that are were bothered to level it past 21 to help me out and raise. I have used my level 21 Terramolic. I remember, and we did win. Of course, it's a pro C raid. We won. Uh, as I mentioned, I have great interaction in the comment section of my videos. You guys know that. I love hanging out with you guys. On Discord, right? You would expect me to have like a thousand pings. I haven't read. I've read all of them. We'll just keep that down. I've read all of them. I have zero. Actually, I probably have a ping because I saw someone message me while doing this. Video. I'm. I'm sorry, mate. I'm recording a video. I can't respond right now. But I. I can even show you pictures if you want. I. Have, Zero red notifications. I've read them all. It, Jurassic World Life forums. Jurassic World Life Facebook. I've read them all. Now. Uh, continue interacting with your fan base. Will not only create great sentiment towards you as a creator. But also allow you to get first hand feedback and news from your subscribers. Thus providing you more ideas. Topics to cover in the future. So you guys let me know in the comments below, because Ludia wants comments from me. They like consistency um, in my fan base. Comment, what do you want to see? Is there a specific raid you want me to do? And, like, <laughs> be creative, please, because you guys asked me to bring Gemini, Turamolic, and Triastronics, or whatever the meta is for the raid. I want to do new raids. I don't want to repeat raids that other people have done. That's what keeps my content fresh. I want to bring Indominus Rex to the raid. I want to bring another Indominus Rex to the raid. You know? I want to do... Let's bring Dino Mech to the raid. That's not even... That would be cool if that was in the game. I, ooh, you know what would be cool? If they add Dino Mech and Gigantopithecus. That way we could do like Mortem Rex versus Gi Gigantopithecus and Dynamech versus Mortem Rex, right? That's like Mecha Godzilla and King Kong versus Godzilla. That would bring in the King Kong and Godzilla fans. Yeah, that would get them playing the game for sure. Anyway, let's move them to the side for now. 
Uh, you know what? I remember when we did me Mega T Rex raid. We brought all four T Rexes, and I actually used uh in the thumbnail all four T Rex Lego figures I had. We have that one. That's my favorite one. We got this one, the grey one, one of the latest ones. Of course, you can see up there. We've got one in here. Yeah, and then we got that one. And then, of course, the one up the top. Yeah. But I like that thumbnail, and it got me some views. Yeah, people like that video. Anyway, make sure to stay healthy and have fun. Well, the problem with that is I'm way too determined. Nothing is going to stop me from playing JWA. There's a storm outside a tornado. I'm walking right into it. I remember that one time. <laughs> Don't do that. No. Don't walk into a tornado, guys. Um, there was a massive storm, right? I hadn't collected my... This was like peak Carbo Nemis when it was just released. There was an event. There was a storm outside. And I had to get the Carbo Nemis there. I had to get 12 of them. And I didn't have time to drive around obviously don't drive and play it's very dangerous especially when the road's slippery don't do it at all so I'm walking out with my umbrella trying to dart cover enemies I got all 12 of them of course never give up never surrender uh, you've mentioned in some videos and in your email I wake I wake up very early in the morning because I'm Australian, of course, and we get the raids, some of the raids early, New Zealand even earlier. Uh, get the meta bear 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so, you, you know, if you want to be the first to make a video, I have to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, which is what I do. I'm dedicated to making this content, and it's going to be partially quality. It's going to be very high level quality so honestly I love getting up at 4am to do raids do you know how awesome it is to be so early to the raids I don't mind if I have to do it I will but Lydia if you could make events at like 3pm AST Australian Eastern Standard Time I'd much prefer that instead of getting up at 4am but I'll totally do it it's a minor bump in the road but I love to do it I love to to be early to get my unique brand new raid strats done um yeah so they also said I have a bit of a satis dissatisfaction in some of my uploads I don't recall saying that I probably did forget I probably said something like that but I'm proud of all my uploads I try to put the best effort into most of my uploads if my voiceover may not be as great some days. It's balanced out with the strat we're doing, I'd hope. <laughs> Hopefully. Because, you know, do you guys think I have top quality content? I hope you do. Say you do. Say say in the comments, Pro C, you have top quality content. But I'll get the hard cash link for sure. Um, all, they're like, Really, proceed, protect yourself. All while having to coordinate events slash raids on weekdays and with my studies. I don't remember bringing up studies in a recent video. I probably did. But thank you for watching my content, Lydia. It means a lot. Um, so yeah. I have to coordinate the raids. The raid show. Did I tell you once, it took me 12 hours to try and beat a Gorgo Trevax ray <laughs> straight I it was a lot of fun kind of um I mean I love doing the raids I love it when I have something to do in the game and <laughs> 12 hours it's a lot of time but it was a lot of fun most people normally wouldn't but you know gotta make the content and when you do oh it's totally worth it it's worth it to say I've achieved uh Beating Gorgo Trevax with a level 6 Ionis Theorem or whatever. 
I want to be with the loved one one day. Bed. Gorga Trebex. Oh. So just like, yeah, let's not allow anyone to carry. Which we did. Scholosaurus. Level 20 or level 16 if you watch that video. I know steering level 6. It's pretty good. You know. May not be able to trio strat in the race. I reckon we can do a level 1 coin one day if you know specifically. Anyway, so thank you for caring about me. But it's okay. I balance out my Jurassic World live life and my real life. All fine. And I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Uh, while we think it's great and definitely not to be discredited, thank you, that you keep up to date with all things JWA, please do not take the guidelines I listed above as an incentive to overwork yourself. Thank god that didn't break because there's a lot of Lego pieces in this mech. I'll just pop it here so I don't hit anything. Uh, Posting frequently does not mean you have to post every day. Thank you. That's a big weight of my shoulders. No, I, I love uploading as many videos as I possibly can, especially if it's brand new videos. People are like, if it's showing off emotes, people haven't seen those. I love to do that. Even though it's spending money, I'm happy to spend a bit of a dollar to uh, show people things they haven't seen before. Raid strats, I love making them it brings a lot of joy to me it's fun and it's something different in the game entirely and getting to new blush shores like pvp arena it's really cool to see what you can do and today i actually versed my alliance mate and i beat them in new blush shores and they have more trophies than me they, they made a misplay accidentally um unfortunately for them and i beat them with an early dominance <laughs> Who would have thought early dom is useful in new boss shores? Not me. Uh, posting frequently does not mean you have to post every day. We want your content to be thoughtful and something you are proud of. Whilst I can say not all my content is top tier quality, it still has highlights. There are highlights in every video, I'd say. And I'm proud of a lot of the work I have done. There's a lot of stuff I've done that people would never have thought of. Like, I know that's really up myself to say, but... Like, maybe one day, uh, people could have figured it out, but really, like... All the things i found, I've beaten every boss with a low level. Which, not many people have been able to do. And I've, I've basically always been the first to make that strat. So, I'm really proud that I have like the knowledge to do that and now this is like the final part to help facilitate and encourage you to continue your craft your content I've attached to this email the Jurassic World Alive press kit so they have provided me something that they haven't left me empty handed although the email was great I loved reading through that um this is a folder of official Jurassic World Alive assets that you are welcome to use and feature in your future content. I look forward to speaking with you more in the future and seeing what you create. Cheers. So, it's not over. And we're going to... If I have to work hard, if I have to do this partial face reveal to get this hard cash link, I'm willing to do anything. To get it, I'm willing to do anything to be part of this because honestly, I never thought I'd be here originally. But oh, if I said 2020 was a bad year, I'd honestly be lying. I got 1k subs within less than a year. What, what was happening during that year that was awful, but. It would be offensive of me to say that things were going bad because really compared to other people, they really weren't. Obviously, I'd love to see my friends outside, which we've obviously 2021, we've improved on that and it's better. But yeah, a lot of things happened that year that got me kickstarted to where I am right now. So 
yeah, this is going to be like the end of this part of the video. I'm going to be going over the Jurassic World Life Press Kit. I'm not sure if I should save that for another video. Because what I want to do, right, tomorrow, Prehistoric Kingdom, I bought the Alpha for it. So I get to play it tomorrow in about 14 hours and 30 minutes, I think, it is when it comes out. Obviously, it will be sooner when I upload this video. But basically, like I've said, I think I said, when I upload like Minecraft, Roblox, Jurassic World videos, Godzilla and Kong, and Prehistoric Kingdom tomorrow, it's all been for Jurassic World Live to get the viewers to check out this game, you know, and help promote them. Because if I'm helping to promote them, then that's surely getting on their good side, right? It's, yeah. So, guys, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. I'll probably go over the Jurassic World Live Press Kit another time with a couple of the 2.6 creatures that are in there. I'm not sure if they should have shown me that. But, uh, I think I'll share it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This was great. I hope you enjoyed something kind of different. Just score line based though. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye everyone.